Hi, I'm Dec Olson. I'm a professor of chemistry and biochemistry at the University of Bristol. Um, I'm also the director of a research centre that we call Bris Symbio, and this is a UK government funded research centre for synthetic biology. Synthetic biology, well that's interesting. It's a, it's, at the moment it's a concept. It's the idea that one day we'll be able to engineer biological systems. And by biological systems I mean protein molecules, DNA molecules, cells, even whole organisms such as plants and animals. And the idea is that just as engineers can now predictably build bridges without them falling over, or cars without them exploding, we can eventually predictably design and engineer biological systems. Can we look at biological systems as modular type systems? That means it's got components. And can we learn, can we understand how those components or modules work together to make functional biological entities? And then eventually, can we reconfigure, can we repurpose, can we reuse those components to make things that are useful and productive for us? And that's in essence what synthetic biology is. So the difficulties with the whole concept of synthetic biology, or one of them at least, is the complexity of biological systems. I've mentioned the bridges and cars, but think of the most, uh, the most amazing bridge you've ever seen or the most expensive car you've ever been in. The complexity of biology far outstrips either of those. So understanding that complexity enough to be able to engineer a biological system is really quite difficult. But if we could understand this complexity and we could engineer biological systems to order, the benefits are potentially great. Right? So you could imagine increasing the yield of uh, wheat per hectare to feed more people with the same block of land. You could imagine harnessing the energy from the, from the sun directly into biological solar cells. You could also imagine making um, vaccines and drugs more quickly, uh, more uh, cheaply and more safely. You can even imagine, and people are thinking about this, although it's got ethical problems, right? you could even imagine changing somebody's DNA subtly to cure them of a disease.